So good morning everybody. Time again for another video with me, Yuma Sanderson, and today I'm gonna give JPT a try. <laughs> Not a simple pattern, and I've been sorting J all morning uh, to ensure hopefully I have enough uh, J with the double colors, so to say, uh, both up and down on the side of uh, the feather. So um, I hope you're going to enjoy this one. I'm going to try to uh, cut everything unnecessary, like me winding the thread, etc. And just have all the mounting details in the movie so I can keep it in one part. Ho hope you enjoy that. Um, let's begin. So I'm to start uh, tying. Um, so I thought I, I do it a bit different uh, this time. So I'm gonna uh, do the tag uh, and uh, the silk and tail in this mode, and then it's time for you know technical things. I use the other camera and zoom in. Just a little bit of water before I start. So first of all, need to I'm using um, uh, the v Vivus uh, GSP thread. This one is a uh, 50 denier. That would be equal to like a 12, 12-0 12 or something European. Bit of wax. Oh, sorry about the machines outside. Um, it's uh, it's a bit snowy outside, so they just remove it. So, oval silver tinsel. I'm using Vebus there as well, uh, extra small. Keep it really tight and neat. Oh, lucky me. The snow machine, eh? The plow. What's the English word for it? Not sure. So, tight wraps. I'm gonna go with like four turns. Tying on the 7 0 hook, sprite. Not the modern sprite, but old, the old stuff. My god, I might need to pause the video. <laughs> oh, it gives a rustic feeling, yeah. So the first steps in this fly, since I have a, like a wide uh, camera angle, uh, if you want to see in detail how I do those kind of things, just uh, shows uh, the shows the video before. So move the leftover. Uh, time for gloves. So tight wraps back to the tinsel. One thing with my movies, you know, I don't, I don't remove or cut things. If I tie something on in a bad way, I keep it, correct it, those kind of things. I want it to be real, 
otherwise you know it's it's not who I am so I like I like to keep it a bit rough honest and fun so doing a few turns back and forward just to make sure to build up the 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 size so it's not super thin in the back and then the next layer is like twice the size I don't like that okay so that step is almost done it's gonna secure the silk as I mentioned before I just gonna remove everything unnecessary uh, to keep the video as short as possible since it's a quite a, a lot of steps in this one this one used to be clear but now it's colored by the black wax a little bit but yeah prepared a nice tail you don't see it really but it has a bit of red in the end And tail on, tail is on now. <clears throat> so before I move further, I use my curved scissor just to remove that one. And there it should be stuck. Going back again, trying the ostrich hurl. really tight three four turns depending on how thick your hair are and I think I go with it. another one there I'm pleased For the next steps I'm going to zoom in using the other camera. So I'm just gonna stop the video here and change the settings. Had some lunch <coughs> and uh, also took the opportunity to uh, make the body white so uh, I could mark out the sections. So next step I'm going with the silver tinsel. And this time instead of extra small, I'm using small. So we are securing that one, tying it in. And then somewhere here. Time for yellow floss, silk floss. I 
little bit back to the thread So I'm just going to secure the silk, tying it in properly. Let's, this one is twisted, so I'm, I'm untwisting the silk. Time to put the gloves on. So tight wraps backwards. Yes, securing the floss here and the silk. Sorry. So I just cut the left of the silk. Maxing the thread. Three turns of the Google Silver Tinsel. First J feather. Let me see if we can pair them. So about the equal.
pretty close. There's the focus again. So, I'm going to wax the thread and do the same underneath. Uh, I need to prepare that feather or the pair of feathers. So, I'm going to pause the video. So, next step, the pair underneath. I'm just gonna add the one above again. Might be a bit long, so I'm gonna redo that. Focus. So let me shorten them a little bit. Next step, uh, some black bags. Let me see if I'm happy with that first. Yeah, it's okay. And then ostrich turn. Bit more wax.
Uh, it's slipping a bit. So what I need to do then is to build up a little bit more with the thread. Let's do that first. Again, silver tinsel small, waxing the thread. the body a little bit not too much I have a, a thicker sink here Gloves on again. So I'm just flattening the silk. Okay, 
putting the leftovers. Just gonna even the silky little bit. Time for the oval silver tinsel. As before, three turns. And cutting the left of this. So now it's time for the second two pair of J above and below. So I'm gonna prepare those feathers and uh, uh, so, so I finished. Stop the video now. Um, time to continue with the fly. It's been a, a one week break, I'm afraid. Uh, um, I had to uh, work a lot, so I've been uh, quite tired. But today I have a day off, so let's continue with uh, this lovely uh, JPT salmon fly. That looks efficient. So I'm gonna max my thread and then just turn this one round. I'm gonna try to do the same below. And then it's ostrich hurl, tinsel, another silk. Let's have a look. So there we are. So I'm gonna wax the thread, black wax. Few tight wraps. Piece 
with it. So now they have another silk, but first the ostrich hurl to attach. Just gonna cut the leftovers there. And here's the ostrich hurl. It seems like I have one fiber there who don't want to be included. So I cut that one off. Now time for the ostrich hurl. More vex. Somewhere like that. That is sufficient. And those did some holes in place. Tinsel. There we go. That's all my tinsels. Mixing the thread again. Tight wraps backwards. I hope to finish this fly today, else it's gonna be a bit uh, short break in between. I have uh, working like 14 hours tomorrow as well. And Friday. Just building up the foundation before I put on the green and the colored silk. It's gonna be claret. The clarity silk.
in this case I need gloves this silk is very fragile So tight wraps backwards and then back again as always. There we are done. Tying it in. So I'm just gonna use my thumb to even out a little bit. It looks okay. So now to the tinsel, three turns. So now I need to prepare two pairs of uh, J feathers again. So I'm gonna stop the recording and then turn it on when it's time to add those. Time for the next pair. So I just uh, waxed the thread before. Uh, let me pair this one up.
Vero? Spare in place. And a straight line as well. Let's do the other one. There we are. So, once again, ostrich shell, thin cell, silk. But first I'm going to remove the stems here as much as I can. I think I'm going to tie it in. So, Ostrid Shirley. So I thought it didn't stick. We do that again. Play ball, so let's remove that one.
is cutting the leftovers. one little thread of silk just to even up a bit but first attaching in the oval silver tinsel just pre-waxing the thread Here I want to tie in the seal, the oval tinsel, sorry. Up to there. And from there I will be it's too short to touch anyway. Even up a bit with the white silk thread. There we go. Just building up the foundation. secured I'm gonna spend some time then and correct or adjust the, the yay feathers, you can play with those for hours. So, last silk. Just waxing the thread a little bit.
we are. So I'm tying in this ilk. Few reps. Removing the gloves. There we go. Cutting off the leftover silk. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And then we have three turns of this oval silver tinsel. Stopping here, yeah. Stopping in the video here and start when it's time to attach those. Time for the last pair of J feathers. So I prepared two pairs. So let's try to attach those. So time for the uh, pair underneath.
plus one fiber I need to remove there. fibers that got my attention Plow is out. I'm gonna stop the video here, play around with the feathers a little bit and then uh, uh, if I continue today or uh, maybe on Saturday then we do all the top things but um, I will uh, try to do it today. So I added the first short topping. Uh, so I'm gonna add number two and number three if they play egg correct. If not, I'm gonna varnish a short break and then attach the next one. But let's start. mentioned you see me done uh, the toppings quite a lot so to shorten cut the video I do it uh, quickly Moving on. 
So I intend to add four topics. Not sure how that will turn out, but we will see shortly. Three toppings. What about number four? You better five. And the fourth. Fourth topping. Turn a little bit. So let me adjust that. And then the fourth again. To house a little bit and look for a fifth because I think five toppings will be sufficient for this one. There we go. Short break, looking for the last one. Okay, let's do this. Fifth topping. Get it as much as possible on top. We're gonna see better uh, when I take it the, towards a light background. I think that's a nice flow, not too much. I don't want to add too many on top of it. However, we need to add horns. And the ostrich hurl head. So let's start with the horns. I just need to secure a bit of the space here.
I don't have long enough horns to be able to tie uh, with my cow. So I'm gonna substitute that one. So, I just gonna add some varnish and then we do the ostrich shed and the fly is ready! Yep. Okay, last step, hold the head and then I'm gonna varnish the head and take a photo later. Uh, I need to start to prepare food for tomorrow. Jumping on 20, 14 hours shifts. So need to start to prepare that otherwise I'm gonna be very very hungry so let's see which way that one turns so my direction okay Head. Just gonna cut all the leftovers. And there we are. Varnish, normal vineyard. Fancy. And there we go. So on Saturday I'm gonna edit the movie and upload it and hopefully you're gonna enjoy it. Um, of course, you know, if I would tie this one uh, without doing a video it would be uh, yeah, twice as nice. But yeah, I need to speed up when doing a movie. So that was a quick movie on how to tie this uh, JPT. Um, okay. Um, as mentioned, when I tie a video, I need to speed up things. I can't publish like a four hour video. Uh, that would be insane. But overall, I think it turned out good. Uh, as a yeah, YouTube video. I uh, ho hope you're gonna enjoy it. Um, I'm gonna prepare for a few days at work, starting with the double shift tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's how things are. Hopefully I'm free and during the weekend and then I can upload the, this video for you guys to enjoy. Make sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up and leave a comment. Take care of it.